guys, this is Max from IWillTeachYouToPlayGuitar.com coming to you with a new guitar lesson. So today we're going to learn how to take something on your guitar that sounds pretty meh into something much more interesting and engaging that people will actually want to listen to. Now this video is going to be in support of an article that I wrote for Cody from MusiciantTots.com I'm going to recommend it that you check out that article because I'm going to go into much more detail there than what we are going to see in this video. So I'm going to include the link to the article on the description box below so you can check it out. Okay, now let's get started. Okay guys, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to, we're going to start with a, a very simple melody on over a backing track. And we're going to see what we can do to make it sound more interesting. And to do that, we're going to be using a couple of simple techniques that if you use them right, they'll be much better. So, the first technique we're going to see is called vibrato. Let's say I want to play this note. I'm using my index finger over the fifth fret on the third string. And I'm just plucking it with my pick. Okay, it sounds, it sounds okay but it's, it, it doesn't have much much body. Now, what vibrato means is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna change the pitch sl slightly over the note so that it sounds more natural. So it's gonna be like this. Okay? So what we're doing here is I'm placing my index finger and plucking the string, but then slightly moving my finger up and down while keeping pressure on, on the string. So it, here's, what, here's how it looks again. Okay, I'm exaggerating the movement right here, okay? Normally you, you don't want it to push it to make it the, the oscillations too big. So just keeping it moving nice and, and, and tight is so usually the best, so like this. So of course, we can use any of our fingers. We can use our middle finger, our third, our ring finger, and of course, our pinky. So now we're gonna go to bending. So let's say I'm playing this note here on the third string in the seventh fret and I want to go to this note which is, on this, which is on the same string but two frets above it. I could just pluck the two notes, the two notes like this or I can do a, a bending which is, looks like this. I'm gonna push on, on the first note, pluck, pluck it and then I'm gonna push the string while keeping the pressure up until the note reaches the one I, I wanted to play. So like this. Okay, I want to go from this note to this note. So I have to do this. Okay, this technique is probably one of the, it's probably one of the basics of rock and roll, okay? it kind of adds a, a nice transition to it. And of course, it sounds better when we not only bend, but we also add a vibrato at the end, okay? I could do this, which is okay, but what sounds better is to do this. Okay, you see what I, I just did? I raised the string to the note, and then I vibrate it. This is great. Okay, now we're gonna go to sliding. So, let's say I wanna go from the seventh fret on the third string to the ninth fret on the third string. Instead of doing a bending, what I can do is just push the string and slide my finger until I get to the 8th fret. 
okay so of course we can do this with any finger it doesn't have to be the index we can do it with the middle ring or pinky finger and of course slice can be basically as as wide as we want we can go from here to here the main thing I would say is if you are sliding you should do it um, quite fast you don't want to go from here to here like this okay you want to go in uh, slightly faster like this that would be about our right so now to the next one which is called hammer on okay le again let's say I want to go from the seventh fret on the third string to the ninth fret on the third string instead of just plucking both notes like this what I can do is pluck the first note let's say in the seventh fret and then hit the other fret with my finger like this okay see when I hit the, the string with my finger it produces the same note but it's just a slight difference in the sound Similar to the hammer-on is the next technique, which is called the pull-off. Let's say I want to go from the, again, on the third string, ninth fret to the seventh fret. I could just plug both, like this. Or I could just make the pull-off technique, which is like this. I'm going to plug the first note and then I'm going to release the string while keeping my other finger on the other fret, like this. Can you see the difference? Here's the sound while plucking it. And here's the sound with the pull off. Just a slight difference, but it, it adds a more natural sound. For the last technique, we're going to be seeing what is called a passing note. Let's say I'm playing something like this on the third string, starting on the fifth fret, going to the seventh, and then to the ninth. Something like, something like this. Let's say that. Let's say that I want to add something to that. Instead of going from the fifth to the seventh and then straight to the ninth, I could do something like this. From the fifth fret to the seventh and then use the eighth fret like this and slide it to the ne to the ninth like this. Did you hear it? Of course, this note, this note sounds on the eighth fret sounds strange when while I play this other tree because it happens to be an off note. But if I do it right and I do it fast, it kind of adds a, a kind of ex exotic sound to it. So once again, you don't want to dwell on this note for too long. You know, like this. It has to be quite fast. And of course, it doesn't have to be a slide. You could also use another technique, for example, like a, a bending. So I could do it like this. Okay.
guys, now that we have already enhanced our melody, now we're gonna talk about what's going on. Okay, so um, a lot of the things that you heard me play just come out of my personal style. It's not a formula that I can, that I can teach you. But regardless, there are three things that I believe every player should take into account. For starters, vibrato is probably the most important technique. I mean, that's a whole hallmark of a good player. Whenever you hear a player that just ends on a note and doesn't do any vibrato, it's, it sort of screams a, a new player. You heard the contrast of the melody prior to, to including vibrato and it's night and day, okay? So we were playing something like this but including vibrato is totally it makes it it, it makes it come, come alive so as a rule of thumb every time you're playing a static note that is something that something like this a note that you play and you stay on it for a while you should always do some vibrato And never forget that bendings with vibrato are just the best. The second point, um, sliding. I believe that every time you are going to enter a, a new lick, you should always either slide upwards or downwards. Okay. So I, when I was playing the the melody. What I did was slide from below. And also where, where the chord changes. It's a very good idea to always slide upwards or downwards, but also combine it with the, with the vibrato. Okay? You can hear that there is a hell of a difference when I, if I play this. And if I do this, the last point I would like to really hammer on is that learn to control your bend. Okay? On the melody, you hear me play bendings in a couple of ways. You, you don't always have to be just go straight up, don't always be playing a bending like this. You can do it multiple ways. You can do it like I was doing on the melody. That is, I start with the, the string bend and I bring it down gradually. But you can also invent uh, your own style. For example, There's a lot of tone to be had there. Okay guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. So, do not forget to check out the article. I'm going to include links below. I'm going to go into much more detail on that article than on this video. There's a whole chapter at the end of the article. It's a bonus section where we're gonna be going, apart from the music itself, we're gonna be knowing how to add flair with your mood and your attitude. So. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay strong.